Nah, nah, nah. Look, look, this is getting out of control, man. Listen, you rocking with your boy CBT, man. I look, I want to have a discussion with you cocksuckers today, man. No cap, no games. Leave it in the comment section, man, because I need some answers. All you Deontay Wilder fans, man, you got to explain this to me, right? So I'm going to take you down the list. You understand me? I'm not going to waver. I'm not going to hummer stunt. All I want is for you to hear me out and then give me the explanation. Because if you are Deontay Wilder fan, you should be able to answer this, people. For real, for real. This is getting out of control, man. Now, look. We're going to start with Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder. I'm going to go straight down the list. You understand me? We'll get to Tyson Fury in a minute. Just hear me out. Now, at the end of the day, right? Deontay Wilder, you know, Anthony Joshua. Everybody want to see that fight. Anthony Joshua's A side. Anthony Joshua was a big star, right? Deontay Wilder got he got some celebrity going on now. However, he got it. I can say he piggybacked off for Joshua, but for the sake of this video, I just want to call it down the middle. They go into negotiations. My boy Eddie Hearn offered him what? 10 million, 15 million, 25 million. You dig what I'm talking about? The mystery 50 million was offered to my boy Anthony Joshua. Let's say Anthony Joshua turned that down. I'm giving it all to you, cocksuckers, right? So, boom, Anthony Joshua, Eddie Hearn, they get down with the zone. The zone said, listen, man, we'll give your boy Deontay Wilder $120 million. He got to fight three fights, you understand me, to get the $120 million. You dig? So I'm thinking he can fight Brazil, somebody else, the Anthony Joshua, $120 million. You dig what I'm talking about? We're like, yeah, Anthony Joshua, Deontay Wilder, that's a great matchup. We don't need to know what Anthony Joshua is getting for that fight. All we know is Deontay Wilder is getting way overpaid. 120 million. He gonna take that. He declined because Shelly Finkel said, nah, man. Look, we like the money, but we don't we need to know what Anthony Joshua is getting. So hey, listen, we're not in the back rooms. There may be a good reason why he needs to know that, right? Cool. But at the end of the day, he turned it down. My boy Anthony Joshua comes to the stage and says, Listen, I'm putting hands and feet on Big Baby. Him and Big Baby had a great press conference, good build-up. Anthony Joshua taking over, you dig? America, you coming to the States. Your boy Big Baby tested positive. Now he gets in the ring with Andy Ruiz. Andy Ruiz is a guy that's not known, but we know he get busy. If you're a hardcore fan, we know who he is. You understand me? Anthony Joshua has some issues in, in his camp. However, we're getting to the point now. We got Deontay Wilder just left negotiations a few months with Anthony Joshua. We thinking, okay, negotiations collapse. Deontay Wilder don't want the $120 million, but I'm 100% sure after a fight or two, they'll get back into negotiations. We got a guy in Anthony Joshua, right? Comes to the States, loses to a bum in Andy Ruiz. Deontay Wilder could have kept, a, what, what, 60 to 80 million because, you know, Anthony Joshua lost. I believe that fight still could have continued, but later, at a later date, because Anthony Joshua would have needed to rematch Ruiz. But the fact is, your boy Deontay Wilder, the pockets would have been swole. With more confidence going into the fight with Joshua, after seeing Joshua lose, after beating his two opponents to get that 80 million, 60 million, and waiting for the rest of his change from Anthony Joshua, who took an L, right? But we're going to back up a little bit because we got Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder. They get in the ring. Tyson Fury coming off of what? 400, 500 pounds. You see what I'm saying? Exaggeration. But he coming off a heavyweight. A guy who had mental issues, drug abuse, hadn't been in the ring for a while. You dig what I'm talking about? Had two light touches. Nobody he was in the ring with prepared him for a fight with Deontay Wilder who was active. Now we got Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury, they get in the ring. Tyson Fury, give him a boxing lesson, take him to school, and he wasn't even 100%. We know that. Whatever side you on, Deontay Wilder should have smoked Tyson Fury. Fury came to his backyard and said, what's shaking? What's good? I'm taking over America, not Joshua. You understand me? So he comes to America. He fights to a draw on paper. Now, however it go down... If you a Wilder fan or Tyson Fury fan, it's split down the middle. People say, hey, Tyson shouldn't have, uh, he should have been, should have been knocked out. The count was too long. Facts are, the boxing lesson he gave your boy for all 12 rounds, we got to put that into account. 
Now we get the rematch. Of course, it should be a rematch. It's a draw on Deontay Wilder's record, and so at and so is a uh, Fury rematch. Definitely, we want to see that, right? I didn't know that Deontay Wilder would go into and negotiate a rematch with Tyson Fury and have another rematch clause. Not another, a rematch clause. The first fight wasn't a rematch clause in that in that contract. At the end, I mean, obviously for, you dig, your boy Wilder there was because he's champion. We, that's this automatic. So you go into negotiations with Tyson Fury and his team. And you sign a two-fight deal. Two-fight deal, bro. And it's structured, structured like this. Whoever wins, the rematch have to go down. So that means Fury is protected. Wilder is protected. Fury don't even have a belt when he's protected. He's protected because of this lineal thing. He's protected because he got a better goddamn promoter. Now, Deontay Wilder is out of catch-22. Not only did he sign up to fight <laughs> my boy Ortiz, he then also signed a two-fight deal with Tyson Fury that can't be broke, that got stipulations in there in times where the fight have to take place. And then you get Deontay Wilder. Call out Anthony Joshua a few weeks ago. Talk about I want that smoke. I want that smoke. Tyson Fury should step aside. Now it's clear to me. Because Deontay Wilder made a big mistake. He let his fear of Anthony Joshua get the best of him. And he signed the two-fight deal in the fight with Ortiz. That that look, that closes him off to any and everybody. D Dillian can't get that work. That's why Dillian wasn't going to get that fight. That's why Dillian tests positive. I'm telling you, it's, a, it's something going on, people. Deontay Wilder had no, 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 he was not going to fight Dillian, bro. He, look, because he already signed a, a, a deal with Tyson Fury for two fights. <laughs> Your boy Deontay Wilder tied up for the next two years. So when he comes out and say, yo, Fury step aside. He's saying, yo, bro, listen, man. Your boy Anthony Joshua got rocked. He got exposed. I want to unify. I feel better now. I feel more confident now. I want to fight that dude. I want to fight the winner over there. But I'm stuck over here with you because I put my ink to the paper without reading the fine print, cocksucker. Now, you Deontay Wilder fans, you got to explain this to me, bro. How are you WBC champion of the world? And then you're going to give a guy the option to have a rematch clause if you if you, if you you beat him. Deontay Wilder, if you beat Fury, you have to fight him again like if Fury is holding some type of title. You're going to tell me that Deontay Wilder not scared of my boy Anthony Joshua. You really going to tell me that, man? Listen, man, I think both guys are talented. I'm going to call him down the middle, unbiased. Both guys are talented, right? Both guys got... You know, strengths and weaknesses. Your boy Deontay Wilder is fast. Act, he's athletic. Tyson, my boy, De my boy Joshua, hit hard. Great jab. He's an all-around better boxer. Better foot movement. Better head movement. Better jab. You understand me? Better ring IQ. And I think he's better in the inside. That's why I give the fight to Joshua. Now, Deontay Wilder's tied up, people. You tell me this. Who's the better promoter? Who got the better deal? Good God. Whoa, Jesus. He just walked in the office and said, yo, we're shaking what's good. Tyson Fury, the great white hope, he won a rematch. The great white hope fought your boy to a draw. We, look, Tyson Fury is fighting tonight and he's not even getting the, he's not even putting ashes in the seats. 1500 I heard he's selling right now. Like, it's ridiculous. What kind of clout do Tyson Fury have in America to get that kind of deal, man? To all you Deontay Wilder fans, it's deeper than just his boxing skills and him being sloppy. It's about this guy mind and how retarded he is and the fear he got in his heart for Anthony Joshua, man. We all know Anthony Joshua wanted that work. He wanted that smoke. He offered him that paper and he didn't take it because he feared Joshua. Now that Joshua got an L on his record, he got exposed against Ruiz, a smaller guy. Deontay Wilder believes now that he can take on your boy Joshua to a draw, to a 12-round decision, some type of way. He doesn't fear getting in the ring with Joshua now. But again, Deontay Wilder is stupid. He doesn't think 
because styles make fights. Styles dictate how the opponents will be able to approach each other. You never go into a fight with a shorter guy. I don't care what weight class you are and think or a shorter guy that's faster than you that and think that you're going to be able to win that war just because you got muscles and you strong. You lose that war every time, man. You understand what I'm saying? It's like Floyd Mayweather. Yeah, he's the best that ever did and got away with it, but put him in a ring with a natural 160 pounds that get busy. His skills is great, but the styles and the weight will make the difference. So Deontay Wilder and your fans, man, y'all some clowns, bro. I gotta call y'all some clowns. You, you can't explain this away, bro. You, I, I, I was trying to figure out why is he asking Tyson Fury to step aside. All he got to do is fight Fury one time. By the time, you know, he get finished with Fury, if he wins, he can get the rematch. He can get the fight between the winner of Joshua Ruiz. But now I'm like, yo, now I see. You got a two-fight deal with that cocksucker. And you got a fight with uh, Ortiz. The guy got three fights, people. How was he ex fighting Joshua in the next year or so? He wasn't. He didn't have no plans to fight Joshua. So what Deontay Wilder is doing he has been out there being very vocal about how he disliked Eddie Hearn. Eddie Hearn has never done anything to him other than call him a guy from Alabama. I call him a guy from Alabama. Okay, I guess it's different from coming from a white guy. I guess because I understand the in your windows about that. A guy from Alabama. Tulsa, Tulsa, Alabama. You dig? Like, you dig? So, I get it. Trust me, I do. The bigger picture is this. If he created a distraction... Right to the people and say this is the reason why I'm not working with or trying to negotiate with to fight Joshua is because Eddie Hearn. Then he can escape from the back door and keep his pride in check. You understand me? Because he really don't want to fight, and that's proven by taking a three fight deal, <laughs> two with one cocksucker and one with the guy you beat already. You understand me? So he wasn't thinking about Joshua until Joshua took that L. But let me tell you something. He gonna feel good after Joshua and Ruiz get in the ring. He gonna feel really good about himself and the option he made because when Joshua showed him, show him that it was a fluke, Joshua had some issues, and Joshua was gonna dispatch of Andy Ruiz so easy, so comfortably. You understand me? With the power and strength, and knock him out, leave him in Saudi Arabia, stinking and dirty. He gonna say, "Good God, I'm happy I got three fights." And I ain't got to fight that cocksucker no time soon, maybe 2024. You dig what I'm saying? And that's what it is. So, everybody, if you heard what I had to say, can you dispute that? Can you break that down? Can you show me something, man? Because I gave it all to you. I already talked about the 50 million that Joshua so-called turned down. I'm going to give you that. But you know what? It's just like uh, uh, my boy Farmer, right? And my boy, uh, your boy, Bisexual Davis. Floyd offered what? Uh, Farmer, two million. Okay, so we turn down two million. Let's say that, but we counter and say no. We'll give your guy five million. <laughs> so how about that, cocksucker? You think what I'm saying? So ain't nobody ducking. We just offering you more money. How about that? And then my boy Eddie Hearn said, "Listen, man, we can go in the back room. Me and you, Floyd, put a number on the table. You understand me? Open it up, and whoever. See that? Look, that means Floyd and your peoples, because you know." When you, if you follow a guy like Deontay Wilder and Floyd, business-wise, you got to be stupid too. So let me just explain what Eddie Hearn basically was saying. Floyd, you and Eddie Hearn meet up, right? In some office. Your, your, you know, your preference in TMT offices if you like. Y'all sit down. Y'all get a piece of paper and a pen. Now, you don't have to write down or spell anything. You're dealing with numbers, ones and twos and dollar signs and zeros. You can even have your boy Ella be in there to get the zeros correct if you don't understand. You don't even have to put zeros. You can just put four, five, and you can put M-I-L if that means represents millions to you. You understand me? So hear me when I tell you. Don't talk about four million, eight hundred thousand, sixty-two dollars and $62. do not do that because the numbers don't get you crazy. So just say, keep it even. So, you sit down, get a pen, and you write down, without Eddie Hearn seeing, cover your paper. You think what I'm saying? Because Eddie Hearn can't see it. You put down $3 million for the fight. My boy Eddie Hearn put down whatever he's going to put down. Let's say five. And then you reveal your what you wrote on paper. And whoever 
has the higher number, <laughs> Floyd, is the winner. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? It's that simple, Floyd. It's, it's that simple. Eddie Hurt offered this to you, cocksucker. You understand me? I said that to say, even if you say that Joshua turned down $50 million that the guy from Alabama had in his book bag, you see me? Uh, we countered it with $120 million. Don't matter that Eddie Hearn in match room was able to do that. Eddie Hearn got with somebody and, and it was the zone that was able to match it and double it and triple it. Cocksuckers. Answer me that, man. See, we talking facts on this thing. You see what I'm saying? Don't get the name confused with casual boxing talk. Man, I'm the truth and I'm the prediction king. We rocking tonight. It's fight night. After tonight, I'm on my way to, on a flight. You think what I'm saying? To Dallas. We're shaking what's good. We're going to videotape that too. I'm out there in Dallas for two weeks, man. I'm out there all the way into October. I'll be out there tomorrow morning. We're shaking what's good. Holla at your boy. Peace. Welcome, Mexican style to heavyweight boxing. Let's do that. Whatever the cards <laughs> for now. This beat rocking. <laughs> you should be getting a haircut to this beat right here, man. You should go watch Anthony Joshua knock out greatest hits. You see what I'm saying? Rock out to the channel, man. Subscribe. Share the video, man. If you're Anthony Joshua supporter, man, put your fists in the air, man. If you're Anthony Joshua supporter, man, put something in the comment section, man. If you riding with Anthony Joshua, you believe he gonna knock I thought you had to figure out new media, new perspective, casual boxing talk.